Hello, this is Aaron Sorensen with VFX Central, and today we're going to be talking about how to composite digital firework effects into our footage. Let's take a look. Before I begin, I should mention that you can purchase these digital firework effects at vfxcentral.net. You can also download a free firework pack in our free content page. I'll make a link down below. Check it out. In our ignition firework pack, we have 17 different firework effects to choose from, each varying in size, color, and shape. Today I'm going to use this one, so we simply drag and drop it on top of our footage. Once we've dropped in this effect, we can see that the background is still black. In order to composite this in, we need to click on this, Toggle Switches and Modes. After that, go to Mode and go to Screen. So if we play back this clip, we can see our effect, but it's not quite composited in properly. And one of the reasons why is because the camera's moving and so the effect doesn't hold its position. So I've already gone ahead and tracked this shot and have a tracker already set up. So next I'm going to simply position my effect where I desire and then I'm going to parent the effect to my track. Now when we play it back we can see the effect holds its position. This isn't a tracking tutorial, however I will briefly go over and explain how it is done. First click on your clip, then go up to animation, and for this I did track motion. After that you need to find a place that has high contrast, it will help your tracker follow the motion properly. After that you want to choose the parameters you'd like to track, position, rotation, and scale. Then press this button, which will analyze the track forward. When it's done analyzing, it needs a target to apply its track to. For this I went to new, null object, then I went to edit target, chose the null, hit OK, and then simply hit Apply. So after that, we need to make sure that this firework effect is affecting the environment that it's in. So you need to look at your shot and ask yourself, what would the light be doing in this shot? Well, I would like the light from the firework effect to be affecting the ground right here. So to do that, what I do is duplicate the firework effect. I take the bottom one, drag it to where the floor would be, scale it down this way so it feels like it's flat, to the ground. Then I'd use a fast blur effect, make sure it's on the bottom firework effect, and I crank it up. And I may even go out even a little bit bigger this way, maybe a little bit more this way. And now when you play it back, it'll feel like the firework is actually illuminating the ground. If you feel like it's a little, still a little too intense, you can always turn your opacity down. And lastly, I like to enhance the firework effect by creating a lens flare effect. So what you do is create a new solid layer and then drag in our lens flare effect that's built into After Effects. Let's use this one, change it to screen mode. Drag it to the center of the explosion, and you want to make sure that it starts at the beginning of your explosion. So it starts here, but it's going to be really soft at first. So hit your keyframe. Let's just start it down to, uh, let's start it down to like 30%. Make sure this is centered up nice. And then it gets, and then we want to get really bright right here. So it pops. So let's just go to, 80% and then we're going to quickly go back down to zero. Now let's play this back. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out vfxcentral.net. Go to the effects page where you can purchase the ignition firework pack for $19.99. Or if you want to try it out, go to the free content page where you can download a smaller pack for free. Also, if you have any other suggestions on tutorials, effects, or templates you'd like me to create, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook.